Hi guys, welcome to another ACE MRCOG video. We're here to help you pass your part two MRCOG. Now at our courses, we get asked all the time about what to do with endometrial hyperplasia. ARCOG have a great guide on, on this, but here's a quick video about the management of endometrial hyperplasia. Now broadly speaking, you need to consider endometrial hyperplasia into two groups. The first is endometrial hyperplasia without atypia, and the second is atypical endometrial hyperplasia. Now, endometrial hyperplasia without atypia is really easy, and it's also relatively safe, with 5% risk of malignancy over 20 years. So actually, most cases will regress on their own. If there's obesity, the woman needs to address this. And if the woman is on estrogen-only hormone replacement therapy, then you need to add some progesterone to protect her endometrium. In terms of management, Mirena is your first choice treatment. You can also give oral progesterones in the form of nortisterone, about 10 milligrams per day, or medroxyprogesterone acetate, 10 milligrams per day, but Mirena is the best. Surgery is of course always an option if the patient chooses, or of course, if the endometrial hyperplasia, which has been simple without atypia, becomes atypical or if the endometrial hyperplasia doesn't regress with Mirena treatment. So, moving on to atypical endometrial hyperplasia, it's just as simple. This time, surgery is the mainstay of treatment in the form of a total hysterectomy, and the decision to perform bilateral salpingo euphorectomy is going to be up to the patient and also the clinician. Now, if the woman wants to keep her uterus or can't have surgery, this is a little bit more complicated but all you need to do is follow these steps. First of all, you need to image the uterus to make sure there's no myometrial invasion. Secondly, you need to stick in a myrena coil. Thirdly, you need to do three monthly biopsies until you get two negative biopsies, and then you can actually relax to six monthly biopsies. And in those women who actually want to try for pregnancy, and that's why they want to keep their uterus, they need to have at least one negative biopsy. And then IVF is considered to be the best mode of conception rather than natural conception because there should be a shorter time without treatment of the endometrial hyperplasia. That's it for the management of endometrial hyperplasia. Hopefully you found the last, you found this short video. <laughs> Just go back to that end bit and then it should be editable after that. So that's it for the management of endometrial hyperplasia. Hopefully you found this video enlightening and we'll see you soon for more ACE MRCOG videos. Bye for now.